What is up, you guys? How y'all doing? I know this is a bit different, some different than what y'all you are used to seeing. It is Cinco de Mayo. I have been drinking and enjoying myself. And I don't know if this is about to be a sad video or a video of shock, but um, Trey Melvin. You know, I really like this content. He's a very funny guy. And um, one of his songs I really like a lot. But he decided to, uh, well, something is up to showing the, as if he passed away. And when I saw it, like, my freaking heart dropped. Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, my goodness, there's just so many people that's dying. So he's dropping this thing that says that he is supposed to die. Dre Melvin is supposed to die on March 6th, which is tomorrow. Because we all know that today is Cinco de Mayo. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a reaction. My wife, she's currently back there. In the uh, in the tub, relaxing, babe. You good? Yes, stop <laughs> she says, "Stop telling little bitch back here." But um, we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on. If it's sad, then I'm gonna just be like, "Dang, I should have been a little bit more serious." But we're gonna see what's going on with him, man. And then we see Sweet Mom for Life. She even got some shit coming up too. Talk about Grams. I may have to tune into that. But huh? All right, let's see what it is. Getting a new vlog on our second channel, Nick and Carla. Two minutes and 40 seconds. I was thinking personally, I was like, maybe he's trans. Maybe, you know how trans people, they have a death name or a dead name? I was like, maybe Trey Melvin is his dead name. And he's getting written. When he said he's laying on his deathbed or whatever, maybe he's speaking from the standpoint of getting ready to get surgery to just switch some shit up. I don't know what was happening. But I know he's made a lot of, he's pissed a lot of people off. Because, baby, this ain't cool. Too many people been losing their life to be playing with some shit like this. What is this? Shit crazy. But I'm going to tell you now, if he is doing this... City stunt, it's getting bad. I don't ever want to be this thirsty for fame, but I want to push back in case it's some serious. Hopefully, he all right though. That don't mean he all right. What if this is a suicide or something? Carla said he all right. 
is he going live? We don't even know if he going live. This premiering. We can detect no ambiguity in this section of the act. Let me just keep watching. Ancestors. That was a joke. Maybe if you don't. Let me go back. That was a joke. Hold up. Think possibly followed by a heart emoji. If you do not share the obituary, you will be jumped by the ancestors. Oh, okay. That was a joke. Maybe. If you don't feel comfortable sharing an obituary, you are more than welcome to share the music upon its release. Resurrected Trey and his loved ones thank you from the bottom of their hearts for your unwavering support. Remember, this is not a time to mourn what is departed. This is disgusting. This is a time to celebrate what is to come. This has got to be the most disgusting thing I've ever seen for Cloud in my life. Babe, he over here promoting a fucking music project. And I'm going to be real, his music straight, but this music better be good as fuck. But it don't matter how good the music is, this shit is horrible. He did all of that for like a one minute clip. Promoting a fucking project. Is this where we at? Look at the lives. It says he has a real obituary. Time to hit that unsubscribe button. Y'all who are unsubscribing, buy the fuck. Bye, bitch. This shit is disgusting. Talking about people who hitting the unsubscribe button. Goodbye. Last one to leave wins. Kevin Samuels ain't dead. What the fuck? 
nah, hun, we don't joke. Yes, we don't joke about shit like that. This is not cool. It's like at first he was on YouTube. Then I guess he felt some type of way about whatever, and he decided to go to some private network. I don't know how that shit played out for him, but he wasn't on YouTube no more. Then he come back with this whole deaf shit. I mean, he had came back again telling the story about, for those of y'all who don't know about him, he uh, was in a car accident, and he was driving, and his best friend died because they had an accident. So he came back to tell that story time, which I was a bit disturbed by that, you know, because of the way he was just delivering the story, you know, because he was like making jokes and shit. He was like, this is how my best friend used to like us to joke. But then he comes back with this obituary as if he died just to promote a fucking song. Y'all, I'm gonna be real. This is disgusting. And at this point, I'm like over the Internet. I pray me and my wife don't ever get that desperate for fame i'm just telling y'all that now this shit is fucking fucking disgusting babe anything you want to tell the people my baby said they do anything for clout they do anything for clout i do not support this um I, again i think it's disgusting and i think people should just not do the fucking most, excuse these peanuts, not do the fucking most to get attention and get clout and all this shit. It's not worth it. Some people are still going to support them, but me, I'm disgusted with that. You got to be really careful with your words because it's very powerful. We are powerful. And the energy you put out there, you get it back. He's speaking that shit. He could be speaking that shit into existence. So then what if something really does happen to him? Like, how is the world really going to react? So, hey. That was my reaction. Yeah, I got a little piece of Carla's reaction. She back there. I'm finna go back to enjoying my corona. I don't give a fuck about what he got going on, y'all. But anyways, on this channel, what we usually do is we react to a hot content on the on YouTube, lesbian relationships, and all type of shit, even some gay men. But um, all right, y'all. Catch y'all next time. Peace.